Welcome to my video about assembling a six gallon copper pot still. I use Adobe Acrobat version 8. I only select the pages that are important to me, in this case page 15 on. I want it to print full size, no scaling. I also automatically center and rotate the pages. This is the layout sheet. I just wanted to show you this so you could see the layout of all the pages and how they're actually assembled together. This is the actual stack of sheets from the template. Each page is numbered with page in the center and I intend to cut off the top and the left edges of each page. Now this is the way that I typically cut the sheets. I take a ruler and line up on the edge as close as I can to the black line and then I take a very sharp knife and I just slice it off as such as. Let me show you again. Probably what I would do is take all the sheets and slice them on one direction at a time and then that way I only have to line them up one time. Now one extra thing that I do typically to help line up is I'll cut the top corner off of one of these sheets and a little section out of each side. This actually helps line up the sheets quite well. I'll give you an example even though these don't line up together see this will allow me to line up the lines exactly with each other and it gives me a little window to look through so that I can see that I've got the sheets lined up together. After I get all the sheets trimmed, then we'll start assembling sheets. I'm on the last sheet here. And uh, once I get finished with this particular sheet here, the only thing I've got left to do is a little bit of cleanup. And then once we get a little bit of cleanup done, we'll be moving on to how to assemble these sheets. I prefer to assemble them in rows, which means I'll be starting from sheet number one and going through sheet number seven and then doing the next row also. And then that way I've just got four rows to assemble all neatly aligned up. And that way I don't have to worry about trying to get it all lined up. So I'm gonna take a small break here and clean up a little bit of my mess. But I arranged so that they're in numeric order. So I don't have to go hunting for the sheets. I'll be starting with page one and then I'm gonna just lay them out straight across the table making one long strip as I go. Then I'm gonna move on to the next one. So let's get started with page one. We'll put page one and page two. Now my little windows that I cut are to help me line up the lines. So I line up the top edges and then when I line up the lines, you'll see that the lines on the template line up exactly. I can use the bottom lines to look and line up. I can use the center hole and I can use the little top window here. Once I get the pages where I want them, I want to tape them. The most important place to tape is across the template itself. The other edges aren't going to be as important except for just getting it lined up. But once I get the pages put together, they'll be much easier to work with. So you see lining up page one and two was pretty trivial. Let's move on to page three. Now you'll notice that on these pages I have marked which pages go where on all the edges so that I don't have to worry about trying to find which pieces of the pattern fit. So all I have to do is just line up my lines on my pattern. Now sometimes the pattern isn't going to line up exactly because of the way the printer prints. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get my lines as close together as I can matching up the pattern with the borders of the page. If they're off by a couple of pixels or so it's not really going to make that much in the design. It's not going to make that much difference in the design. Just want to make sure to tape the patterns because later on we're going to cut out the individual pieces of the patterns also. I'm going to continue on and get all the rest of the pieces put together and then I'll turn it back on. As you can see I'm getting ready to put the last sheet together here. 
and you'll notice I've got a pretty long strip off to the right side or left side here and I'm still doing the same thing just lining up the pieces as I go getting all the edges as straight as I can now the next step of the process is I'm going to take all these sheets one strip at a time starting with the first strip that I made and then lay the strips out and attach them together. 